Why, hello there, everyone. Well, hey there, everyone. <laughs> this has nothing to do with what I'm doing today. I would just like to introduce you guys to my grandpa era. Like, I quite enjoy... <laughs> quite enjoy my grandpa era. I made this uh, sweater vest the other day in like half a day and I'm very proud of it and I've been holding on to this yarn for like half a year <laughs> because this is what I originally meant to do with it and then I never did anything with it so finally did it and it's very cute I might say. Anyways so what we're going to be doing today I'm very excited about because this is going to be one of my favorite things in the world. <laughs> so today we are going to be doing an Ahsoka cosplay. <laughs> Ahsoka Tano from Star Wars, one of the best characters probably ever, and one of my favorite characters from the Clone Wars and Rebels and new appearance in The Mandalorian and having her new show coming up soon. So I am very, 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 very excited to be doing this. What originally sparked this idea is I picked up some material from Goodwill, not really having a plan for it. It was just a nice piece of material and it was like red and like suede velvet. It was a nice material, like very nice. So I picked it up and then I was just kind of like sitting here and I was like, hmm, you know what this looks a lot like? And it looked a lot like the red dress kind of outfit that Ahsoka wears in the later season, mid seasons of uh, Clone Wars. And so the idea popped in my mind. And so I've had this idea sitting here for a, quite a while. And then I ended up picking up the Ahsoka book and this got me very inspired to make this cosplay. So this is gonna be a lot crammed in to one video. <laughs> So there's going to be a lot of components because there is more than just the dress to make. There's the dress, the boot covers, the gauntlets, the belt that she wears, and the pants. <laughs> so it's going to be quite a lot crammed in, so stick with me because I think you'll be happy with how this turned out. So for this outfit, I'm not planning on painting myself orange or doing her headpiece. Um, her mandrels. I think I'm just gonna do outfit wise and then maybe a little bit of makeup to look like it but I'm not gonna go full Ahsoka. <laughs> so I'm gonna tell you the materials piece by piece because there's a lot to cover. So the first thing that we're going to cover is the dress. So the dress I ended up picking up a pattern from uh, this person here on Etsy um, because it was a dress that looked a lot like hers. It gives the right figure and I can adjust it to what I need. It even has like a little turtlenecky part. Um, so I have to adjust that just a little bit. Um, but I'm gonna make a mock-up for it because I should. So to change this, um, the pattern has the dress come up to here with no shoulders. So I need to add shoulders, obviously, because she has a shoulder seer. Um, I'm gonna shorten it quite a bit. And then I need to add the little cutout here and then the massive cutout on the back that Ahsoka's dress has. And then after that mock-up is made, I need to cut it out of that red material, which I think I found about two yards-ish of, um, which is perfect. Like, just enough material to make this dress. <laughs> and then there's cutouts for the collar and then the armbands and whatnot. So, um, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Right, now that everything is cut out it is time to sew the dress together so the first thing that I need to do is just sandwich 
or you know put the dresses on top of each other and sew the sides here and then I'm going to measure out how big the collar is and then I'm going to sew about where the collar would be so probably about this much on each side of the shoulder and that will get the shoulders all closed up and then the next thing I have to do is sew on the little hide the hide the exposed sides of the arms so pretty much what they have me do is take uh, the little piece of fabric fold it in half and then sew the wrong sides on the top and then sew it together and then I'll fold it up and that will hide the exposed seam so I'm not sandwiching it I'm just folding it on the inside and then then I'm gonna sew around it to kind of have it sit flat more flat rather than pop up and then after that I'm gonna do pretty much the same thing for the collar so uh, or the turtlenecky part so I'm just gonna put it on sew it around and then fold it up and then I'm also going to sew that around so it stays in, in place. Then the last things I need to do is hem the bottom and then put some bias tape that I made from the material around the circle here and around the, uh, the big opening in the back. So I will see you after all of that. <laughs> I ended up having to put a zipper into the back so that I can get my uh, head through the turtleneck part. So pretty much what I did was I seam ripped where I sewed the turtlenecky part together and then I just cut down uh, the back so I'm just going to pretty much put a zipper in so I will be able to get it on in the future. Alright, now that the dress is done, I ended up having to put a piece of wire in the little triangle here because it was not keeping its shape and it looked really bad. So, so I did end up putting a wire right there so that it would actually look right. <laughs> so the dress is complete. So the next thing that we'll do is we will cover the leggings. So I ended up just getting some gray leggings from Walmart so I didn't end up making those. But I do have to put the little triangles on. I think Ahsoka's are actually cut out. but. I am just going to glue them on. <laughs> so I ended up getting this tan um, vinyl from Walmart, uh, like a leathery vinyl, pretty much what you would use for like a chair or something. So I ended up picking some of that up. So I'm just going to cut out uh, two big triangles to put on either side of the leggings and then four smaller ones going down on each side. Um, and I don't have to go all the way down because the boot cover is going to hide most of that. So you'll see how I place those. And I'm just gonna glue them straight on. So I will meet you back after that. All 
I added a bit of parchment into the pants while I was hot gluing the little diamonds on just in case the hot glue seeped through and then like stuck the pants together. I just wanted to make sure that that didn't happen. Alright, now that the leggings are done, it is time to work on the accessories. So let's get into the boot covers and the gauntlets. So I did end up getting a pattern off of Etsy for the boot covers and gauntlets from this person. <laughs> um, and so what I ended up doing for the material is I got some red vinyl. Um, you're able to do it in foam too, but I didn't feel like working with foam <laughs> right now. So I ended up to get just getting some vinyl so that I could just sew it rather than, you know, contact them and do all of that. Again, it's like what you're supposed to use for a chair, but I'm using it for boots and gauntlets. So for the boot covers, what you're going to do is put them right sides together for the three pieces of the boot. Sew along the edges, and then what I ended up doing was I... It has quite a bit of a curve for the calf and the top of the knee. Um, I ended up sewing that a bit less curved because I found it was way too curved for my uh, calf. So I just kind of straightened those up a little bit and then you go ahead and do that to both of them. So what I had to do to connect these was I ended up doing velcro. So I picked up some velcro from the store and it does have a sticky back to both the sides so I can literally just cut out the pieces I need, um, cut them up and then peel them off and stick them on to where I need which was very convenient. So what I ended up doing is I put the rough side of the velcro on each of the little notches of the boot, uh, which you will see, and then I ended up trimming them because you can still see them because they're bigger than the actual piece. So I put those on and then I tried the boot on and then I marked where each of those velcro pieces ended up and then I would put the soft side of the velcro on the spots so that when I put it on it would line up perfectly and stay on. Now for the little accessories, so she has like little buckles on her boots. I ended up picking up seven packs of two because that was all, all that was there, but I actually needed eight. So for now you're just going to see me do seven packs of two because I had to go back and get more. <laughs> so what I ended up doing is I could have spray painted them gold, but I feel like that would be too much. So what I ended up doing is I heard a trick where if you paint yellow, like with a dry brush over black, it looks like gold at a distance. So I just dry brushed some orangish yellow and then some yellow on top of that to make it look like a rustic gold effect. Um, and then I just hot glued those on. So I'll meet you back after that.
So the next thing to cover is the gauntlets. So these are way simpler than the boot covers were. Um, pretty much I'm going to be using the same red vinyl. Um, so you cut out the pieces and there's only three notches this time instead of the five that the boots had. So I'm just going to do the same process of putting on the velcro, trimming it, and then lining up everything to where it can close properly. And then do the same buckles. So I did go back. So I did go back to Walmart and pick up some more buckles, except they didn't have the ones that I needed. So I picked up some that were almost like it and I had to like trim some pieces off of it. So it's close enough. Um, and then I just finished painting those and then I hot glued those on to the vinyl as well. And then there's a little triangle bit, which I think is supposed to be a different color, but I didn't make it a different color. Um, that just goes about where the elbow would be on the piece. So I glued, I, I hot glued that on and then the gauntlets were pretty much done. So after I hot glued all of the buckles on, I found that the hot glue didn't want to stick to the vinyl nor the buckles. So I ended up having to go back and super glue all of those pieces on. So if you're doing this, I would not recommend hot glue for that. So I'll see you after that. So after I finished the gauntlets, it was time to work on the armbands that she has here and here. So that's basically just four like straps with little notches cut out of them. So what I ended up doing was using the vinyl yet again, but I wanted to make this more than, a, more than just like a strip of fabric that I knew would fall. So I ended up gluing uh, elastic onto it so that I could actually get it on my arm and it would stay. So basically what I did was I just cut out strips and then I cut out the notches accordingly and then added the um, elastic to it, and then they could just be slid on. So I'll see you after that. to the last component of this cosplay and that would be the belt that she has so, so using the same vinyl that I used for the leggings where I put the triangles on um, I ended up using that but I used the back of it 
So I was hoping that this would take on some stains or could stain it to a different color because hers is in that tan, um, but the stain did not end up sticking to the vinyl side, so I had to flip it over to where it was more of like a felty, hairy sort of side. <laughs> Um, so I just kind of like painted some stain onto that which made it the color that I wanted it. So this is made out of four strips that will be part of the belt and then out of the same material also using the back and stained. I also made a little pouch because if you see the back of her belt has like a just like a tiny little pouch so I just cut out a little pattern for that and that will be hot glued later. But first I have to stain all of these so I will meet you back after that. Alright, now that things are stained and dried, I'm going to start to glue the back together. So to do the pouch, I started off with hot glue, except the hot glue did not want to stick, so I ended up just using Velcro. So I folded in the two sides and then folded up the bottom over that and I Velcroed that. And then I put the top flap down to look almost like a letter and I put Velcro for there too because those liked to stick. So that was the closure of the little pouch and then I'm just going to uh, hot glue the little straps onto the back of the pouch. So pretty much the first two go like this and the bottom two are at an angle like this so that the strap can be straight at my waist and then go a little bit like that to the front. So I will meet you back after that. The next thing that I have to do is to work on the front little um, silver piece that she has and then her little strip of fabric that she has too. So for that little buckle piece, I ended up just taking some thin white foam that I had. Um, I cut little a little like outline detail and then used my heat gun to extent, accentuate that little cut. And then I sprayed that with silver. So that piece will be drying and so the next thing that I have to do is make that little piece of fabric. So I ended up picking up a pillowcase which was pretty close to the color of her little strip of fabric. Um, so I'm just going to cut out a little shape like this and then I'm going to put it right sides together, sew all around it except for the top, turn it right sides out, and then top stitch all the edges. And then to get that detail I really kind of wanted to make myself a stencil so I drew it out on a piece of parchment and then I cut it out with an X-Acto knife and then I laid that design on top of my fabric and then just put some cornstarch over it which would give me the design basically printed on to the top which I could then follow up with a purple paint mixture that I made in acrylic um, to paint the design on. So I will meet you back after all of that.
And finally, now that those are all done, it is time to start gluing everything together for the belt. So the first thing that I have to do is I'm going to hot glue that little piece of fabric onto the little buckle just at the top or at the bottom of the buckle. Um, so that's going to be connected and now it is time to glue on the little straps. So I ended up measuring where they needed to be cut and all that for my waist measurement. So I, for one side, I hot glued the two straps here and then for the other side so that I could get it on easy, I put Velcro so that I could just, you know, take it on and off easily. So I ended up measuring it out and then put Velcro, one going this way on the hexagon, one going that way on the hexagon so that it would sit the proper way that hers has it. And I think that is everything. So I will see you in the long awaited final look. Here is the look. I could not be happier with how this all turned out. Um, <laughs> I honestly didn't know how it was going to turn out, especially this dress part. Um, but it actually worked um, after doing, of course, a mock-up, which I usually don't do. Um, so it turned out really good. And I'm really excited. Like all the elements of all of this going together. Like, I feel like Ahsoka, <laughs> so <laughs> this makes me all giddy in my little cosplay heart. I think at some point I might do, you know, the whole like orange and mandrels, um, but right now I just wanted to do the outfit and a slight little cosplay look, like look how good this makeup turned out, which is pretty good for me. <laughs> um, so I think eventually I'll do that. My favorite Ahsoka outfit is the one that she wears in the last season on Mandalore. So I think I eventually want to do that, but I just picked up this material and decided that this was the one that was going to happen. <laughs> so I am very happy with how all of it turned out, honestly. And all only in like three days I did all of this, which is surprising for me. I guess I was just, I guess I was just on it. I uh, did a lot of work in these last three days, um, of, along with listening to the Ahsoka book, which got me into the mood of making it. So I am quite happy quite happy with how all of this turned out the back is a little wonky and then i throw on like a skin a nude colored shirt <laughs> so excuse that but other than that weird back which is very hard to do <laughs> i think this turned out so good and i'm so happy with it and maybe eventually i can wear this to like a con or something but i don't know i have no plans i just wanted to make this so 
yeah so anyways if you liked what i did i hope you like and subscribe i post most saturdays mostly at noon and i will see you in my next video thank you for watching